Yes, good evening. This is Akeem with Artemis Computer Technology, and today's computer tutorial is about using the cloud storage. I know you may hear a lot about cloud storage, about people savoring documents, music, photos, and work files onto the cloud. Now, I'm going to dive a little bit into about using cloud storage and not saving any of your work onto your local machine local machine meaning I mean your home desktop your work desktop and saving all your documents onto the cloud now the cloud is work safe on an in on the internet it may be a server a server that is stored off-site off-site meaning not on not local near you it's somewhere else another country another state that's provided by the by the um service for example dropbox and you save all your work on their service and i'm gonna dive a little bit about that today about saving using cloud storage and managing all your apps now first one i'm gonna dive into is dropbox which you see right now on the screen and dropbox is cloud storage file sharing also secret synchronization amongst all of your computers with your laptop desktop or, or your um or your tablet now Dropbox works on Windows Max OS X even Linux and they provide you with free with a free two gigabyte of personal storage now free I, I tell you right now um using the free two using the free two gigabytes of personal storage is a definite highly recommend from me I would definitely recommend it meaning because two gigabytes files you could definitely save a lot of music not too many i'm gonna say not not a lot but a little bit of files and um music little documents that you use you you want to go too much over but here's the thing if you want more storage now dropbox also uses what is called a referral program and by the referral program you can send out an invite to all your friends family members even your work members and if that person accepts you will automatically receive an additional 250 megabytes of storage now you could you could use you can gain up to eight gigabytes of personal storage and every time a person accepts you'll get 250 megabytes now let me log into my Dropbox now this is their website which is dropbox.com and you will see that their website is pretty simple you can watch a video of how to use their service you can download it and it's free for um they 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 software is free for Windows Mac Linux and even mobile now I'm gonna dive a little bit into it I'm gonna sign into my own Dropbox account and show you how their service looks yes here it goes now this is when you log in we log into their website you log in you see my login name you even see my account this is my account that I use and I still have a little bit of space left now I'm gonna go back to the home page what I use now home page is what your folders of what you use and you can even see that I got a folder photos public and remote access I use my Dropbox when I'm using remote access, meaning when I use, you know, I'm with Artemis Computer Technology and we do offer remote access. Now, I use my Dropbox account to access onto a remote machine that I'm using of a client and access this and this account and I can just work from here. Easy, simple, saves a lot of time. I'm in and out of that, that remote machine with no time. Now, Dropbox... They also have paid accounts of 50 gigs, 50 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes, and one terabytes. Now that's where for you, and if you're more of a, you more of a power user, I like to say power user. I mean, if you need all the space, if you want to use 50 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes, and one terabytes, I'll definitely recommend that to you. But me, I'm just you know, especially for the company, you know, we very small. We just want to start up with something simple and just you know work on from there. Now they also have a software installation for syncing files and folders with your computers and let me show you how everything works out let me draw here go the software that I'm using 
and it's also I stole it. I know I stored it quite some time ago, and this is uh, what but, but it's what it pops up. And this is what it be. Yeah, I know that is even running, and also in my um in my on my laptop right here. Now this is the same. See here we go folders, my folder photos, public and remote access. Now you synchronization. Um, and also if I want to add any folders into here, all I gotta do is click on this folder. And say, for example, if I want to add the uTorrent shortcut into here, it will automatically sync with all of my machines, my desktop, even my laptop, and even, guess that, guess what, even sync that same file onto my Dropbox account, which is right here, automatically right in here. Yes, it will. And also... Yes, it also, there's no third-party installation with any major program such as, you know, Google Apps, Salesforce, NetSuite, etc. Now, if you're, if you're a business like myself, they do not have no third-party integration with those major, you know, programs. And and, and only one I'm going to show you, we're going to dive into, which is Box, that I'm going to show you that they have a lot of third-party integration that you can definitely use when using programs such as those. Now, they support with mobile devices such as Android, Windows Phone 7, any iOS devices such as the iPhone, iPad, um, iPod Touch. They even work with WebOS and even BlackBerry. Yes, that that is that is pretty sweet. Yes, it does. You can even upload here, which is located right here. If you want to upload a file, click on upload. You can even choose what files that you want to upload from your personal computer. You can even add it on to your Dropbox account. Now that's pretty it's pretty basic. Everything is right here. You want to create a new folder. You could create create a new folder. You automatically create a new folder within your Dropbox account. You want to share folder with another person that also have a Dropbox account you can even do that too yes if a person if that's that's you're in school college student you're working on a group project that you want to share with the other person you could definitely definitely use that and you know they they Dropbox is very good pretty pretty very simple to use and I highly recommend them to even use you know when you want to use cloud storage and the next one I'm going to dive into which is Box now, one of the main reasons that I love Box is because they offer free 5 gigabytes of personal storage. And this is Dropbox homepage of their website. Simple, secure sharing from anywhere. Now, Dropbox, they have more services, from my perspective, they have more service for more businesses instead of individuals such as home users. Now, I'm going to log into my Dropbox account. Click login. Yes, give us some time to finish loading up. Now you're gonna see right here. Email. Okay, I'm click my type in my username. And we're gonna get started. Now after I log in, I'm gonna finish explaining why I love Dropbox. I love box, I mean. Sorry. That um that 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 they are very good in the market right now. Now Dropbox they they have three accounts that you could definitely use for yourself if you want to be an if you're an enterprise, if you're a large business. Um, you can use for for the company if you want to have you know. Uh, for example, if you're like HP, IBM, you can use Dropbox to share amongst long your your employees, and they also have the business for more for small business like myself. And um personal. Now this is my account right here. This is my personal account. I did not want to log into my company's account because we have some some documents that I do not want to show. And um I just want to show for my personal that we that we use. Now depending on the type of account that you have, Box has a number of features such as unlimited storage, custom branding, administrative controls, and also third party integration that I spoke about a little bit with Dropbox. Now, third party integration with applications like Google Apps, NetSuite, and Salesforce. Now, Dropbox has Google Apps. Yes, I, my company, Autonomous Computer Technology, 
even have a drop um, Google Apps account that we also use has our main cloud storage and file sharing we use box I love box because I share with myself and also my brother documents that he could be elsewhere he do not have on him hey you know what go and sign and log into Google Apps he have all of the information go into box and you print it out at the client location or you could be any elsewhere Yes, and they also have a variety of social features like discussions, groups, and an update feed that you can use when you want to, if you want to share any information with any of your, what can I say, your collaborators, collaborators. You see right here, you can also add collaborators, meaning if you want to add somebody else onto your account that you want to share any documents with, they can use, and I don't have any update because this is my personal my personal account that I'm using and they also have the files is these are a lot of my per my recent files that I even use now I love that, that they show you that I have that I'm using only 21.6 megabytes of 5 gigabytes now if you want to go more into the business solutions they even have business accounts for more small businesses even enterprises from what I spoke about that they have different accounts that you can use now Dropbox do not have a referral program that you can use that you can receive 250 megabytes such as Dropbox. Now that's a, that's the main difference between the two. And and I understand that they do not have the referral service because they box and Dropbox is totally something different, totally di different for personal and for more for home users and Box is more for business users. Absolutely. Now that's more that I that I want to get into more with box because you no, know, they 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 very simple. You know, online they also sync with iOS devices such as iPad, iPhone. They even have an app for you know Android. Not another thing that they also have is box for Office, from what you see right here on the screen. Now, box for Office meaning. If you're using Microsoft Office, you can automatically save your Word document, Excel document, Excel spreadsheet, or PowerPoint presentation automatically into your your Box account. They are now here. Go right here. That they are use Google Apps has a third party integration. Pretty 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 simple to use. I love it. I love the way that they're going, and I and I see why that they are one of the best right now in cloud storage and file sharing. Absolutely. Now the next one I'm going to go into is Sugar Sync. Sugar Sync. Excuse me. Now they are they are good. Um, this was one of the latest latest accounts that I even signed up for with Sugar Sync because because I saw you know um. I was in Best Buy not too long ago, and I never even heard of Sugar Sync. I see them online. I never knew how big they were because, you know, um, I was in Best Buy and I, you know, talked to one of the Geek Squad employees. They like, yeah, we use Sugar Sync has our main cloud storage file sharing signalization. All right, cool. I never, I heard of them, but I never, just never, never really dove into it with them because I was always using Dropbox or maybe um Box. And now I even signed up for an account, and um, they offer a five gigabytes free account, no credit card required, and there's also no computer software to install. Now, in 2011, this is 2012 right now. Has I am making this video, making this tutorial. SugarSync was named the best cloud service by Popular Technology Web Web Blog Gizmodo. Yes, they were. And I and I and I see why why they were because they they service is never poor from all the people that I know that have even at my job sugar sink was have never have any problems and uh there was nothing I never heard anything negative about sugar sink that they service is always up to par. Now I love that. And also because that they were they always have a good customer support now let me sign into my sugar shank account and dive a little bit more into it 
and show everybody why that they are good. Now, sugar sink is is good, and um, also now they do have a slight. How can I say a slight? I'm gonna say a slight referral. I would say um, when you first sign into your account. I just made this about, I just made a sign up for my account about two weeks ago. I say about two weeks ago, and I have not even finished all of my tasks. Now, you see right here, you got six tasks, and every, and I and only did one task, which installed SugarSync Manager onto my computer, and my status, for after completing that, my status I have now is 125 megabytes added onto my free 5 gigabytes account. Now, I do not even know how much I will get after completing all of the rest. I do not want to say yes, I will gain an extra 125 megabyte because I did not even do it. I just want to do it and show y'all because I, I don't want to confuse any people. Now, here goes all of my files. You see on the top, on the top, you know, two ball that you have. Now, they all for um, plants from 24 Ninety nine dollars a month for the first year. I'm sorry, and I also you know more mega more gigabytes and also fifty percent of one time offer. Now that's one of the servers that they are using now. Now, I'm now I'm you. I see right now that is right here, and um, that's all of from when you log into your Sugar Sync account. And also that I have all of my how can I say all of my desktop which I named Alfie is synced with my laptop. I'm on, I'm on my laptop right now, and I have that I created for myself. I call it Magic Briefcase. This is all of my folders that I created with my Sugar Sync account that I share amongst my desktop and laptop now I have not really used my sugar sink account I just been using my box and Dropbox for the last couple of weeks now sugar sink is another one that labels that enables users to back up access sync and share all of your documents photos and music on your account and also able to access your personal storage from your laptop your iPhone iPad iPod touch Android and even Blackberry now there are free apps for Of sugar sync for your iOS device meaning your iPhone iPad or iPod touch also Android Blackberry and Windows mobile now. I did not say Windows phone 7 because there is no app for Windows phone 7 Hopefully in the near future that they that they will have it. Then Sugar Sync is available for Windows and Mac OS, and not for Linux yet. They're probably still working on it. Now there's also paid subscriptions of different accounts, such as 30 gigabytes, 60 gigabytes, and 100 gigabytes of Sugar Sync that they that they currently have. And that is it for Sugar Sync. Now I'm gonna go a little bit more into uh, one of the new ones that 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 I that I was introduced to when I was in my last semester of college, not too long ago, and this one is Microsoft Skydive. Yeah, Skydive works great on your smartphone. Proof what you see right here. Um, they just released a new app of Skydive for your Windows Phone and iPhone. Now I'm gonna go log into my account of SugarSync. Of skydive sorry and show you how it absolutely works have a little trouble here excuse me for that of logging into my account perfect there we go okay now from what you see right here I use now Microsoft Skydive offers 25 gigabytes of free personal storage with individual files limited to 100 megabytes to 100 yes 100 megabytes now they offer yes i did say it right 25 gig from what you see right here of free personal 
storage. Now, a lot of people have been moving to Microsoft Skydive because, you know, they offer more space of personal storage instead of, instead of you know, sugar sink box and drop box. Now, sugar sink in, in box offer five gigabytes of free storage and drop box offers two uh, free accounts. Now, when you sign up for Microsoft Skydive, they offer 25 gigabytes of personal storage yes it's more and it's also free now people do love that when they hear the word free and also more space so a lot of people like especially my job and a lot of um clients have been moving on to microsoft skydive now they features include support for office web apps which allows users to upload create edit and share microsoft office documents from your web browser Yes. Now I can show you a little bit right here. From you see right here, see create. You even create a word document. From once you click on that, it, you create a new word document. I'm just type LOL. You can also have at the end from what you saw dot DOCX. And you can even create a new word document from right here on your web browser. Now that is that that that, that is nice. That is sweet. I love that. Instead of having to open up your Microsoft Office software you gotta do right type your paper and save it now there's also real-time editing suite for multiple users and integrates with Windows Live Mail you can even upload Office documents and store them on SkyDrive and share them with users now from what I've seen before with Box you also have collaborators from which you can share Documents, music, file, um, um, you know, photos. I'm gonna sum that up in one person's storage, even with other users, and you can even share. Um, and they also have an entire directories can be downloaded has a um zip file. From what I mean, you can even download a file or folder has a zip file. Now, zip file is a, a zip file is a compressed file with which you can save and, and do work. You can even it can be whatever is that's inside documents, music, photos. Now, zip file is compressed. It even saves more space onto your hard drive. It can be your your laptop, desktop hard drive from the external hard drive. Absolutely. Now, since that my company, Artist Community Technology. This is our website, which is Artemis CompTech, which is located right here. And we are a small business home base, which is veteran and local owned computer repair service that I own. And we been have provided you with this with this you know video tutorial how to manage and maintain and use personal cloud storage. Now, since my company this is my home page right here of my website since my company is an AVG authorized reseller I cannot forget about AVG LiveCov which was launched last year has a I would say cloud storage backup program that you can add onto your computer and it's very good that you yeah, could definitely use it for saving any documents. Now, AVG LiveCov, which is that just uploaded right here. From what I use, I have, which is currently uploading any files from all my, backing up all my files from my laptop onto server cloud storage. Now that, 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 and that's very good now another thing you also have here is your tabs of home you can even select from what you want to back up it will show you all of your devices that even attach or your main machine which is my C drive and my D and you can use the overview and restore if you have a computer problem and restore all your files 
from what you log into your AVG Live Cloud account, you can even sync, you can even share. Now, AVG Live Cloud was launched last year, and I know some people may see that the AVG Live Cloud GUI right here looks similar to Spider Oak. Now, AVG did it kind of sim symbolize Spider Oak. Now, they, they AVG also have their own. How can I say their own ideas that they added into? Now, click on account. Now, I have that's right, unlimited space. Unlimited space meaning that it's only $79.99 a year. Round it off 80 bucks a year for unlimited storage. Can't beat that. Cannot beat that. And also, if you have an AVG Live Cov, load and store them to your laptop or desktop you can you can select what files you want to back up and AVG does not take up a lot of space a lot of space and also a lot of memory no processing and it runs also in the background you can exit out and forget about it now that is all with this video tutorial by using cloud storage with using Dropbox box sugar sync Microsoft SkyDrive and also well, my favorite AVG Livecov and that is it for today thank you very much